I consider myself an oyster tourist, so when I go to other cities, I like to try all the different unique boutique oysters that you can get. And I think it's really cool that Texas might have a boutique oyster scene like some of these other metropolitan areas do. The coastal economies are, are very impacted by fisheries resources, not just directly by, by commercial and recreational fishermen. Those things also bring business. You have local economy, you have coastal economy, you know, the fishermen themselves, the restaurants they're selling to, the entire industry that comes up around that. So it is a, it's a fairly large umbrella. And even the culture, coastal culture, it's gonna have a place in that as well. Texas recently adopted um, legislation to bring oyster mariculture to the Texas coast. And that's basically going to be oyster farming in Texas. And so our deputy director started that program and I was on the work group helping them figure out various aspects of program design. But then when he retired, nobody really championed the program. And for some reason I did. <laughs> Yeah, Emma was, was involved with this really from the beginning. She plays a big role in terms of habitat monitoring and management along the Texas coast. And it, it became pretty clear that this oyster mariculture program needed a champion. Emma just picked up that baton and ran with it. And th this was a huge task, but she just emerged as the person that was gonna take this to the finish line. And she did an outstanding job. Just figuring out what oyster farming would look like in Texas, and that's actually a way more complicated question than it sounds. There's a ton of moving parts and a lot of things we had to figure out along the way. I have made it my own personal task to know this information because I feel like if we're gonna regulate it, we really need to understand it. So I've looked up all of the gear, I've gone to these trainings, I've gone to the research farm and learned how the gear works and talked to Sea Grant. The Commercial Oyster Mariculture Program allows individuals to start up private oyster growing operations in, in the bays of Texas. There's a lot of pressure put on the natural resource, that being oysters harvested off of natural reefs. We view this as hopefully a solution to maintaining that as a sustainable resource and supplementing the total oyster harvest out of Texas with these privately grown oysters. The first application for uh, cultivated oyster mariculture actually came to the bay system that, that I oversee into Aransas Bay. That was a huge, huge first step for the program when we actually received that application. We've had an amazing team working on this and I just want to make sure that comes through is that it's been a group effort. And I do hope this does take some pressure off of the wild oyster reefs. And one thing that I kind of hope for as a consumer is that we have a little bit more of that seafood culture and that connection with our seafood in our restaurants and coastal communities.